Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to our first makeup declutter of 2024. I have got an overflowing box here of products that I've worn recently or since the last declutter, so maybe not all that recently, but products that I've worn since the last declutter that now need to be assessed and see if there's anything that I want to get rid of in here. So let's get on into it. First up here, I have this MAC lipstick. This is in the shade Studded Kiss. I wore this the other day and it is a beautiful shade. I'll just swatch it for you. Absolutely beautiful shade, but unfortunately it is very much dried out. So it's time to say goodbye, sadly, to this one. First item of the video and first declutter. A couple that I definitely won't be saying goodbye to are these two. So these are from Patrick Ta. This is the shade She's not from here. It is the kind of shade that I really, really like. It's very sort of Mac Lady Danger, which I own, so I really probably don't need to own multiples of the same shade, but I absolutely adore it. And then this is the matching lip liner, so I wore those two together and I will be holding on to them. Another lipstick and liner combo here that I will be holding on to is Lee Eldridge Velvet Jazz. So the jazz lipstick is quite old, but the jazz lip liner I actually just got for Christmas. So since we're swatching, I will swatch. Um, so I really, really like this shade. It's not too, like, they're, it's not the same as Studded Kiss, but it's in the sort of ballpark, um, and this one's not dried out and anything like that, so I'm going to be keeping that and the matching liner. You can kind of tell when things are new because they're still in their boxes, or if not new, then I think they're quite special, like the Lee Selfridge ones, so keeping those two. I have got one of my Guerlain lipsticks here. This is the shade 1830 and I will definitely be keeping this. I think these three had actually all been up for declutter before because I think I took them out of the bureau rather than out of my sort of main makeup stash. So these are definite keeps and I would definitely keep this based on colour. It's just that it's dried out. So keeping this one. And then I used this NARS lip liner with um, this one. And it's all right, but I feel like it's a little bit dried out and I've got quite a few lip liners. So I think I'm going to say goodbye to this lip liner. Second declutter of the video. Uh, a liner that I'm not saying goodbye to. I think it's obvious from how small this is that I really like this liner. It's a double-ended one from number seven. Nude on one end, brown on the other end. Obviously it's an eyeliner, not a lip liner. But this is a definite keep. Next up, I've got this eyeshadow palette from Dior. Do you know, this really pains me because this is one of those products that there's absolutely nothing wrong with and it has survived other clear outs. And when I just wanted a really simple eye the other day, I pulled this out and I used that pinky shade all over the lid and then I used this kind of mauvey brown shade to just kind of deepen up the outer edges. But ultimately, I've got so many other palettes that I could have achieved the exact same look with. This is really pretty. Oh, it's so nice and I think Dior eyeshadows are really underrated. I think they're a really lovely formula that people really don't talk about. But I also think although I used this to create that look, I could have used something else in its place and I wouldn't miss this exact palette if I got rid of it. I've actually been getting much more into eyeliner of late than I had been for quite a while. I've been doing a lot of winged liner, but very much a winged liner with this kind of quite neutral eye around it. I have hooded eyes, so I feel like if I'm doing liner, I, I can't do liner and a big deep smoky eye or anything like that. To be honest, I'm more of a lipstick person, so I've not been using eyeshadows much recently, and it's a category that I own so much of for somebody who really deep down can admit she doesn't use very much of it. So yeah, this kind of pains me, but I think we're going to say goodbye to this one. So... That was the Dior 5 Quad Palette in the shade Blazing Gold. I really enjoyed, there is nothing wrong with, but my collection is too big and this isn't serving a super individual purpose within that collection. Oh, okay, that felt quite cutthroat. Next eyeshadow palette, this one is from Chanel. It is the palette Code Subtils, number 278. Really like this palette. I feel like I would travel with this palette. It's probably, like, if you actually pull this back out, it's probably not particularly dissimilar. I feel like the three shades that I swatched, like, these three kind of match up with these three. But I feel like I really like the green in this as well, so I'm going to keep a hold of this one. But declutter the Dior one. Definitely won't be decluttering my multiple Gucci lipsticks that I have been wearing. Obviously these are all still in the box. I still love all of these. Definitely 100% keeping them. Another thing that's in the box that I will be keeping is my Dolce & Gabbana Solar Glow. So this is a blush and highlight duo. 
look at that packaging how stunning so this is the pink shade i have in peach as well i probably prefer the peach but the pink's actually really pretty sort of blue tone pink without being too dull like you know sometimes i think if i do anything that's like too pink it just doesn't really suit me whereas i feel like once this is diffused out on the skin it gives a really pretty pink glow without being you know kind of infantile looking um and that's the highlight there so really really pretty and um, definitely definitely keeping this if I'm honest I should I should take it out of the box I'm going to I'm going to get rid of the box because I feel like the box is something that stops me reaching for it so I will out the box but I'm going to keep it in its its protective pouch because I definitely want to protect that beautiful packaging I'm going to keep this from NARS it's a blush palette I bought this when I was in Florida in 2019 so it's actually really old but because I've been on my no buys and low buys it still feels like quite a new product in my collection ironically and I, I really like this and it's great for travelling so definitely keeping this. I'm also going to keep this Natasha Denona highlight, it's a really pretty gold one and it's a really really big pan so keeping that. There's another Gucci this one is Francis Fire, which I, again, will be keeping. This is my Chantikai highlight that was in my 12 pans of Christmas this year, or last year. Absolutely love this highlight. Definitely, definitely keeping this one. Something I'm actually getting rid of because I feel like there's been quite a lot of keeps in a row there. So this was also in my 12 pans of Christmas this year. It's the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I've got it in the shade Blanc. It does work for me, but it's it's just quite stark white. And I feel like, it's, like it does blend into my skin when I put it there but I just feel like it made me look very stark so I am going to get rid of this. Next product for consideration is from by Terry this is their it's technically a powder but this is in the shade Sun Desire so obviously this is a, a blush rather than a, a face powder and um, although it's from the the powder range so it's a really really pretty sort of as the name would suggest one that kind of gives a a hint of a suntan is really good for my pale skin because quite often like an actual bronzer is just not quite right for me and um, so this kind of works it's got that kind of pinky reddishness to it that my pale skin would have if it had actually been in the sun so I'm going to keep hold of this I'm also definitely keeping this as my hourglass blush in the shade dim infusion I do have a different blush in my project pan this year but I feel like at some point I might actually put this in a project pan because I love this so much that I definitely want to feel that I get my use of it before it you know goes off or whatever if I swatch it there for you it's just a really really pretty peachy tone blush so really like that keeping that definitely keeping all three of these this is Too Faced Gingerbread Man, which is one of my absolute favourite lipsticks of all time. Then this is the Lisa Eldridge. I get two of her liquid lipsticks for Christmas. Um, and I went for the shades Velvet Jazz and Velvet Dragon. This is Velvet Dragon. You can see I maybe have a, a bit of a type here. You can see these, uh, you know, the Guerlain one, these two. And even that's like the sort of brighter version of these. Do all tone in. And then for a more classic red, I've got ABH Serafine here which I absolutely adore. Definitely keeping those three. I will also definitely be keeping this again in its box. Um, I think this was my birthday present last year or the year before. Chanel Character. I don't know if you can still get this shade, but it's a beautiful sort of brownie tone shade, which I just think is so beautiful. I think especially because I've got like brown eyes and warm hair, this kind of shade really works for me. So definitely keeping that one. I have got a couple of eyeliners here that I should be able to Oh no, in fact, this is a lip liner. This is the shade Night Moth from MAC. That is a really good lip liner for, obviously, like a dark, deep, plummy lip. So keeping that one. And then I've got an Estee Lauder eyeliner. This is in the shade Coffee. So it's a really kind of deep matte brown, almost a black brown, which I'm going to keep a hold of. So keeping those two. I think I probably wore that Night Moth lip liner with this, which is Rouge Noir from Chanel. Such an iconic shade. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of swatching it over where I've put that foundation but hopefully you can still see it so I absolutely love this definitely keeping that one I'm going to keep this from Benefit it's an eyeliner but it's like one of those pink ones that you can put in the, the waterline that kind of brightens brightens things up there you go you can see that there 
and then I've got another declutter. This is the Dermacol foundation. I've had this for a really long time and I actually really like the foundation but it has started to break me out. It's gone off which is fair enough for the age of it so I'm going to say goodbye to that one. And then the other thing that I can see here is my Charlotte Tilbury magic foundation which again I'm going to declutter and I didn't use very much of this if you guys can see that. I did that thing where I was trying to keep this good and finish other ones um, but I feel like this has just gotten slightly chalky. It's it's. I feel a bit like the same as I do about the hourglass one in that it makes me look very stark when I put it on now, which it didn't always so I don't know if that's, it doesn't feel like it's gone off in terms of the texture or the smell and it's not breaking me out but it's as if the pigments have kind of changed a little bit. So I am going to get rid of this one. But yeah, I think that's those liquid lipsticks just about dried for you to see those swatches. So you can see a bit more of a difference between Gingerbread Man and Velvet Dragon now that they are dried down. Um, but yeah, I am very much out of space at this point, so I'm going to go wash my hand and then come back to continue on. So I've got this Bourjois quad here, but I think this just goes back to what I said about the Dior Quint and the Chanel quad. I would use this to create the exact same sort of neutral look with these shades as I would with those ones. So I've got rid of the Dior one for that reason and I've kept the Chanel one, so I'm going to stick with that and get rid of this one as well got another Dior Quint here. This one is in the shade Capital of Light. This one I think I'll keep because I've got this kind of mid-brown. Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of doubting myself now. I mean, I'm, I'm swatching those two shades because those are the two shades I would use. And I do, I really like this mid-brown that as you can see is by far the most used shade in this palette. But yeah, I need to be more ruthless. So I'm going to get rid of this one, which is Capital of Light. Some more eyeshadow. I've got this NARS Duo in the shade It's Old. This is really, really pretty, but it's really, really shimmery and my eyes kind of react to it. They're always quite sore after I've worn it, so I'm going to say goodbye to this as well. I have got this eyeshadow from MAC. This is called Nude Model Frost and I actually really like this. Um, if I'm doing like a purple lip, I feel like that's a really beautiful one to tone in on the eye with. It never looks as deep on the eye as it does in that swatch there. I must just diffuse it out. Um, but yeah, really, really like this one, so definitely keeping that. And I quite often wear that over this as its base. This is the shade Misty Rock from By Terry. So yeah, those two together are just a gorgeous combination, especially with like a deep lip. So definitely keeping those two. There's MAC Media to kind of show you what I mean. Like that would be the eye, that would be the lip. Really, really like that kind of combination. Um, so I'm going to keep this lipstick as well, which is MAC Media. Let's look at this lip liner since it's poking out the box. This is the shade Ruby Woo. This is just a classic red, which I'm going to keep. I really like the MAC lip liners generally, so keeping that one. I've got a Marc Jacobs blush here. This is the shade Flesh and Fantasy. Nude tone blush equivalent of the peachy one that's in my project pan for this year. I really, really like these blushes. They are so, so beautiful, long discontinued. So that's why I put the other one in my project pan this year is to try and make me get the use of it instead of keeping it for good. But yeah, that's the, the nude one, which is just great if you've got kind of an eye and a lip and you just need a blush to keep you alive, but without being, you know, a kind of proper colour. It just Gives a bit of structure and a bit of life without doing too much, so really, really love that one. I have got yet another Dior Quint here. This is the shade Golden Shock. Do you know what? I'm not even going to swatch this. I'm just going to say we're going to get rid of this one. It's really, really pretty, but again, it's those two colours that I use. So, and basically, I my Gucci eyeshadow palettes never even make it into this box because I've always taken them back out and using them before I even get to a declutter. But those are the shades that I reach for in those big palettes and I love them. They're so beautiful, like I just love taking them out. I love looking at them. So I'd rather keep them to use those same two shades than keep all of these other ones to use the equivalent shades. Does that make sense? So getting rid of this one. I have got a single eyeshadow here from Dior. This is the shade Blazing. This is really pretty, but it is quite kind of dried out and sort of quite bitty at this point so I think I'm just going to say goodbye to this one. As I say I feel like I've really made my peace with it that I'm a lipstick person and I don't use a lot of eyeshadow so there's 
really not a lot of point in me holding on to multiple eyeshadows. This one though I think I will hold on to, it's from KVD Beauty, it's the shade Thundershock. I have broken this and repressed it so it's a bit messy looking but this is just like such a beautiful kind of, it's one of those shades that sort of pulls different depending on how the light hits it um, and it can like really buff out and be super soft and just like sort of shimmery wash of colour that gets picked up by the light or you can you know really build it up and make it something quite assertive on the eye so definitely keeping this one. I am also going to keep this from Rimmel, it's their nude eyeliner so it goes in. In fact you know what I'm not going to keep that because I think I've kept, where's the, I kept this benefit one earlier and I think that's actually, although does that Maybe put the red off a little. I'll keep both for now. In fact, where's my, my double-ended number seven? See, that's more of a nude on me. That's kind of my perfect nude, but obviously this is so small that I will run out of this at some point. But yeah, this is actually too dark. Like, looking at it next to the other two I would use for the same purpose, this is too dark. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one, but I'm keeping both of them. Then I've got the Guerlain Mad Eyes Double Ended Eye Crayon, which I'm going to keep. Again, it's kind of the same shades that I've said I use in all those other palettes. So there's the, the cool matte brown. And then it's got a more shimmery, sort of goldy brown. So it's, it's again, it's probably a very similar eye look that I would create with it. But I feel like the fact it's the crayon just, it's a slightly different texture to work with. It's really, really good for travelling. So... I'm going to keep that. Okay, so I've got a couple of liquid eyeliners here. So I've got the KVD Beauty. This one is in the shade Hemingway. And clearly it is pretty dried out. So do you know what? We're just going to get rid of this one. Then I do quite like this Longcomb Art Liner. I think I'll keep that one. Then this is a really ancient body shop brown. Uh, but it still seems to be pretty okay and then there's the body shop black I feel like the black's a bit a bit wishy-washy so I'm going to get rid of these two the brown Kat Von D and the black body shop one and keep the brown body shop and the black long comb sorry guys one of my nails just pinged off so I just had to go take it off properly so apologies I've now got a bare thumb I am decluttering this so this is from Kevin O'Quan it's the precision eye definer I actually really really like this um, but it dried out and then the whole thing just came out in a winner so there's there's no product actually left in there to use. I actually really really like this, it was such a sort of small neat eyeliner I could get such a thin line which in my hooded eyes was like it was just so nice because I could get that little bit of definition but it was thin and precise enough that I could still see a little bit of lid with it so I felt it always gave me quite a kind of defined but awake look to my eyes which I can't often get so I'm really really gutted about this but I think that's this is a lesson in why I need to be decluttering because obviously this had just dried up in my collection to the point that it completely fell out of the packaging in one go and um, so if I was going to be buying a Kevin Aquan eyeliner again like I absolutely would buy this one again but I would know I need to be using this before it dries up and I've got so much in my collection that I'm highly unlikely to actually do that so yeah, this is this is a, a lesson in why I need to be decluttering things more regularly and more cutthroatedly, if that's an adjective. So yeah, this one sadly has to go by default. Another eyeliner that I've got here is MAC Teddy. Um, so this is quite a kind of iconic brown. It's got a bit of kind of warmth to it. So I'm going to, as you can see, I've had decent use of this as well because it's actually been sharpened down. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hold on to that one. Okay, so let's look at all the liners together. So I've got MAC Auburn, which I have to say looks really full, but this is like one of my most versatile lip liners. I use this one all the time, despite the fact that it looks as if it's like brand new and untouched, because it just tones in so well with so many different shades across the sort of red to gingerbread spectrum. So really, really like that one, definitely keeping it. Then I've got a red Burberry one here which is beautiful and creamy and again definitely keeping it. Get two Burberry liners, one is mil military red and one is union red um, but I have no idea which th this is because the writing has all rubbed off. Oh in fact there's the other one there. 
yeah, the writing's completely off, so I don't know which is which. Gorgeous liners, so definitely keeping them. Lisa Eldridge ribbon, definitely keeping. This one from MAC, definitely keeping high energy. This is like for like Lady Danger or whatever. Beautiful, beautiful match, um, but discontinued, so definitely, definitely keeping it. And you can see how much I've used of that one as well. That's been sharpened down. Sort of live in fear of that one being finished. Then I've got Dior, I think this is triple one. So this is like a nice deep sort of pruny colour. And then last but not least I've got the Makeup Forever in the shade Whatever Walnut, which is more of a nude. I don't really think there's any particular repeats there. Um, so I think we're going to keep all of those liners. And that mainly leaves us with some lipsticks to go through. I've got Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon Lipstick here obviously because I had the, the liner. So that is Ribbon, which I'm definitely keeping. Let me maybe try and see if there's any other reds to be looked at, so I could look at them all side by side. Okay, so I don't think I don't think there's any reds that will be getting put out based on being dupes. This is Chanel Rouge V, definitely keeping. Then I've got this Estee Lauder Extravagant Berry, which is just so old, I think it's time for it to go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say goodbye to that one. This is from an Olivia Palermo collection that she did with Ciati a few, I say a few years ago, like bordering on probably 10 years ago now. And this is the shade Velveteen, which I do really like. I think I'm going to keep that for now, but I think once I've gone through all of my lipsticks, I do want to get like all the reds together and look at them as a group rather than just the reds that I have worn in the last little while. Because I feel like maybe that could be replaced by something else in my collection, possibly. But I don't want to kind of risk getting rid of it completely. So I'm going to keep that for now, but I think it could be on the chopping block later. And then I have got Avant Garnet from MAC, which this is limited edition packaging, but uh, the actual product is now in the permanent line. So that is that one. Super, super pretty. Definitely keeping that. In fact, do you know what? I know these are not necessarily completely compatible shades, but I like that deepness of Avant Garnet better than the Olivia Palermo, so I'm going to keep this, but I'm actually going to get rid of this one. This is Ruby Woo Classic Red. Yeah, do you know what? It's difficult to wear, it's dry, but I do love the colour, so I'm going to keep Ruby Woo for now, and I'm also going to be keeping Lady Danger, one of my absolute favourite lipsticks. I also really like that I've got the mini in this. I feel like I might actually finish this at some point. Definitely keeping those two. So in terms of what's left, I've got Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips. This is the shade Karina's Star. I wanted this for the packaging. So these are refillable, but when you initially, you can't buy the case on its own and pick your refill. You have to buy the case that comes with a set colour. Um, so the colour this came with was Karina's Star. And I feel like if I ever finish this, I probably wouldn't replace... I would probably buy a different colour, but I do like this colour so I'm not ready to, to declutter it or anything like that. So I'm going to keep that and because it is such beautiful packaging. This one does live in its box still. So I've got two Pat McGraths here. Oh, Vendetta. I thought that was going to be Menemy. So Vendetta is red. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. It's this one here. So that is just, that is stunning. Definitely, definitely keeping Vendetta. And then I've got Flesh 3, which is broken. So, do you know what? We're not even going to bother swatching that. We'll just, um... See, this, like... These were some of the very first Pat McGrath lipsticks, and I feel like the packaging was never quite the one. Um, in fact, let me see if I can swatch it for you. So that is what Flesh 3 looks like. I actually really love the shade. I would possibly repurchase the same shade. But obviously... The packaging is broken, the lipstick itself is out, so I think we will accept that Flesh 3 has had its day and get rid of it. So the last deep lipstick that I've got here is Colourpop Le Freak. Really like that one. So keeping that, then I have got Colourpop Ziggy. So that is Ziggy there. I really like that, so I'm going to keep that as well. These are a combo that I wear together. So this is Penelope Pink from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a bit elastoplasty. So that is what that one looks like and I can confidently say I would have never ever purchased this but they did an Instagram video where they used this lipstick with a lip liner that I also have and then this which is the collagen lip bath in the shade Pillow Talk over the top and that over the top just kind of 
just lifts it enough to make it pretty. So that is like, that's my go-to if I'm doing like a sort of 60s big wing. One of my go-to lips for it if I want. So this is a kind of peachy, nudie, warm toned lip. Or the other lip that I would do if I want a sort of mauve cool toned pink lip is my Gucci matte lipstick in Peggy Taupe. So, but this is my, my warmer nude go-to combo. So definitely keeping that for when that mood strikes. So all in all, this is what we are keeping and this is what I am getting rid of. So obviously I'm keeping far more than I'm getting rid of, but I feel really happy and I feel like I've got rid of a lot of eyeshadow there, which I'm feeling very smug about. So yeah, I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen things. I feel like that's not an insignificant reduction, so I am very happy with that. So 18 gone, so I'm keeping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So 37 lip products all in. Then I've got four blushes, so that's 30, 39, 40, 41, 42 for one blush palette. 43, 44, two highlighters. 45 and 46 for two eight crayons. 47, 48 for two single eyeshadows. 49 for one small eyeshadow palette. And then 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 for six eyeliners. Do you know what? Actually, that's a... What did I say there? 56? So yeah, if I'm keeping 56 and I've got rid of 18, um, I've actually got rid of nearly a third, which is actually better than I... I thought I had done so yeah I'm really pleased another thing I'm really pleased about in terms of what I'm getting rid of as I say so there's five small eyeshadow palettes there uh, four lipsticks I'm trying as I said I've made my peace with the fact I'm a lipstick person I've got the most lipsticks of any category because of that so you know it's it's nice I don't want to get rid of ones for the sheer sake of it but four of a reduction is is nice and then I've also got rid of three foundations here because I feel like my foundations really are a category that I need to get under control this year. So I'm really, really pleased actually with what's gotten rid of here. And then everything that I've kept I feel like is stuff that I know that I really like and that I will definitely enjoy using. Very pleased with this overall. Um, and I feel like actually it's it's uh, numbers wise better than I thought it was. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.